I don't know what song is. It's bag or die. Is my iPad so on? No, it is up. not. Guys, this is oh, we're black screen. Uh, this is no need for apologies. Um, oh shit, what happened? Get us all. I don't see anything. Oh, oh, we here. Are we here? Are we here? Are we, we live? In? Is my is my is my iPad on now? Wait, yes, it is. Guys, welcome to doped up and dying. Hate, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry, we dropped the dying. So we're out here living. Welcome to the Doped Up Podcast. This is uh, season two or season three? How, how many seasons have we gone through now? This is... Well, Pockets was season this one. This is a rebrand, baby. This is a rebrand. This is the first big rebrand. More pro- what episode number is this? One. <laughs> okay. Just, we're right. back at zero. All right. Just starting over. I, don't, I like the okay. fact that you're saying we're that. We're back at number one. Feel weird. We're at one. This we're is like episode, episode 100 one. or 98 or something Come out like with that. your new energy, DC. They don't know you. Well, Dylan, I got something to tell you. What'd you get? I was just told. You quit? <laughs> and that's why we brought my replacement right here. Uh, my clone? <laughs> Kev will call dude. you over the phone and quit. You know that. Kev will make quit. you go out to dinner and meet him and be like, and at the end of the dinner, oh yeah, by the way, buddy, the reason why I paid you walk, is... I walk away and leave you a voice note. <laughs> <laughs> you leave it on the chat. Yeah, I'm no longer a part of this podcast. I'm busy now. <laughs> but guys, that voice you hear, listen, this is listen, this is Dope to Podcast, where your favorite drug buddies through thick and thin. And speaking of thick and thin, let's get into our host. I'm thin. Kevin Sanchez, that's thick. <laughs> DC Williams, that's medium. That, <laughs> and uh, uh, Kevin, how you feeling today? Uh, Kevin, I haven't updated your drop, so we gotta just roll with it. You know what? I wasn't gonna do this to you, but Zach, Zach Amico was like, yo, Kev, I don't give a fuck what you do today for the next hour. But if you guys don't shit on Dylan, and I thought he was going to talk about your stupid leather jacket and his, I and his hockey the, jersey. Yeah, the jersey. Yeah. He goes, bro, did you see the shit he did about Elf? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What <laughs> Elf video. shit did he do? I was do? like, oh, another shitty take, bro. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> you should put out more of those, bro. I'm not going to lie. Shitty Why? takes of Dylan? Yeah, bro. Like, exactly. I, every video I put out is kind of a shitty take. <laughs> yeah, people are like... <laughs> People have to talk about it. They're like, Duh! <laughs> I realize I get the internet angry. Pisses people off, bro. What's uh, your? What's your? I, all, all I, I was on shrooms with my girlfriend, and we were on mushrooms watching the Elf movie right before Christmas. And uh, there was just one scene where uh, the reporter, who throughout the movie at the end, you know, like uh, they're landing, um, Santa is stuck in like Central Park. Yeah. So there's just a woman outside. She's a news reporter, and the entire time she's like. Interviewing the kid, the kid's like, "No, Santa is real. We all have to believe." And then it cuts back later, and they go right back to another guy. He goes, "He goes, well, so what did you see? What did you see?" He goes, "I don't know what I saw, uh, Carolyn, but um, you have a beautiful mouth. Uh, I love those eyes on you. Uh, yeah, we saw some wild stuff over there. Uh, you have a beautiful frame." And I was like, "What?" What's is this the... Will Ferrell saying this? No, bro. It was like someone I didn't know. So I just posted a video being like, "Is this guy nagging her? What is this?" I was like, "What? What part of the movie is this?" And Zach was just like, bro, you don't know who... He pulled the comment. He was just like, you idiot. You don't know who the fuck that is. You don't even know Dylan, who sometimes... Is, you don't, don't even know. I, don't, I never saw Elf. You, no, no, you don't even You've know... you never seen Elf? I've never seen Elf. Bro, Elf is fire, I was bro. about to say. He, he's from Upright Citizens Brigade, you dope. I still don't know who it is. I'm sorry. Listen, if you guys know who it is, great oh, for you. I, I, I haven't seen, seen the video. It's, I haven't seen a video either. 17,000 views. It's crazy as I haven't seen it. I can attest that, that, that you I purposely, I purposely bro, you ignored gotta, it. You got to put out more bad takes, bro. <laughs> he's, so, he's so upset. He's like, wow. Oh, what? You, you do, you do, you do. Wait, oh, wait, 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 shit. Wait. Let me introduce the great Zach Amico. Are you guys talking about this horse shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you explain it to yeah. us, young why dumb is it idiots? So, why, why is it so, so bad? To you? Why is it so bad? Because I've never seen Elf. I definitely wasn't trying to watch his take on it. <laughs> so, and I also, why was it terrible? I agree, Dylan's dumb. As well, <laughs> so I just like to see here why. And that's our, and that's our guest, Tristan. All right, and Dylan, I want to preface this with I love you. I love you too, yeah. buddy. I'm a big fan of yours. I really have grown very fond of you. I love Zach, you, buddy. You're the best. Zach, Seriously. can I ask you a question? Is loving Dylan like coming out of the closet? <laughs> <laughs> is it what was easier? No, was no easier? I wouldn't tell my dad I like Dylan. <laughs> uh, so it was just Dylan, and I, I, I know he's not doing it on purpose. 
But That's he's just worst. got this, <laughs> yeah. this TikTok energy. It, doesn't it suck? It's just him. <laughs> it's just it's like, like there's no way. He, I've been around him like because I've seen Dylan operate, and I'm like a new friend. And just being around, I'm like, God damn That's it. That's a great Dylan Negri. You're... This is what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, do rocks, dude. The second it starts, for him to do it. he's already doing it. Hey, guys, have you seen the thing where you notice where, oh, my God, <laughs> have you guys seen the movie Elf? Is this the Mandela effect? No, it's a the joke Mandela in the movie, effect. you fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And basically, the quote, it should have been, hey, I never noticed this joke in a movie I've seen a bunch, which is Matt Walsh plays uh, a guy getting interviewed on the news at the end of Elf. And he hits on the reporter the whole time. But the way Dylan does, he's like, is this guy a comedian or something? Why is he talking to her like that? <laughs> I love it. How and they're... then people are commenting like, yeah, this is an okay dude. You know, this is this is back in the day. You get away with that. Now you couldn't get away with this because we're like super woke culture now. And I know how to incite this, a conversation. This fucking moron <laughs> goes, this guy like a comedian or something? You mean the guy that's in... Old school, the guy that was on the Upright Citizen, the founder of the Upright Citizens Brigade, who's been in every fucking movie as a fucking supporting character. Like, who's this guy? Why is he talking like this? Is crazy. By the way, LOL, those... comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> I love how that video took like 30, not even like 25 mi uh, minutes to edit. It would have taken me a lot quicker just to Google. I know, Google the motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that's that's my main problem. Is you made a video on a thing you could have IMDb'd, <laughs> but it worked. And listen, sometimes like I, sometimes I'm like, hey, I what was your intention? Hey, I hope everybody thinks I'm a jerk off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it works for outreach culture. That is kind of my shtick. Uh, no, I, I, I was. It was Thank genuine. You, it was genuine. You, Thank you, Zach, for explaining. Like, I also knew out of all people, you would be someone who like. Thank you, Zach, Zach for explaining how dumb movie I am. Nerd, so I, I do say that is it is on me. <laughs> but Listen, the you fact you went, who is this guy? And I'm like, I don't know. I am DBM, you fucking fetus. <laughs> but then the video has no, there's no plot to the video. Just, hey, guys, I Googled this, this comedian. Yeah, because you didn't need to make it, you fucking <laughs> dumb fuck. That's almost the most important thing. Instead of you doing anything, which the first thing you should have done Just is Google. fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you should have done is like, that's weird, and then left it at that. Phil, your entire channel should be called This Shouldn't Be Content. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, I love you very much. Have a great podcast. I love you, buddy. These are the great Zach and Miko. Zach and Miko, y'all. I, I guys, do love you guys very no, much. You're the best. Zach, we're going to have you on the episode soon. Um, we just changed all the whole uh, podcast uh, up a little Zach's bit. Zach's going to be fun. Zach's going to be so fucking fun. Guys, go check out also our episode it's of gonna Zach's be nonstop. Uh, Midnight Spook Show. Uh, me and Kevin watch one of the best fucking movies. I don't watch horror movies a lot. And I watched, we watched this movie and... Um, Bro, I was thinking about that movie the other day. It's good. No, no. Like at night while I was... Great. Oh, it's fucked you up? Oh, it fucked me up because my door... I live in the Bronx, bro. So that shit no is a zoo. No idea. About. Thank you. Huh? I have no idea. What oh, no idea. What movie that's because this, yeah, conversa this conversation not for y'all. But also, there's an audience. <laughs> and also, <laughs> we told half, him where to go to watch it's it. It's half you know? the table. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shut the fuck up, guy. Why don't you stop living like Dylan for the content? Start living in the moment, huh? <laughs> nah, dude. Yeah, sometimes you gotta live for the content. That's okay, baby boy. Uh, no, nah, listen. So, guys, uh, let's go around the table again one more time uh, to our guest, our amazing guest today. One of uh, uh, a, a new friend of mine, but like, bro, in comedy, you want so hard to be friends with certain people, and sometimes shit does not click. Yeah. I might have met one of my fucking brothers from another mother. Welcome to the show, Tristan Bowling. Hi. 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 Go, go check out his Chris. podcast, Final Stop Podcast. I have no idea if it's still running since you moved here. But still running. Let's still shout going it out. Final Stop. Oh. Final How are you stop. feeling so far, buddy? Uh, feeling good. It's scary. Three weeks here. Uh, yeah? Yeah, still. Scary? I mean, like, it's scary. I mean, like... Why you? The, why the you movie? got mad at him? <laughs> Yo, judging him, I'm not mad at him. New Yorkers oh, love yeah. to judge a newbie, bro. It's, like, it's like a thing. Like I mean, Arizona's like, chill, but like scared, like what? I mean, not scary as in like I'm afraid to go outside and shit like that. You know, I'm just like kind of like careful where I step, careful where I walk. Just don't want to get in anyone's way. Just people <laughs> are already in their shit. Everyone's a salmon. They have their own route in this thing, and I'm just making mine. So but I don't want to just be bumping. You still give a fuck. People. Have That's you seen what anything it is. crazy yet? Uh, Does New York give you New, New York yet? You st it's still a good city see, to you. See, no, no, it's never been. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. That's true, though. Yeah, no, I've been. No, it's always been fun and stuff like that. I've seen but, a lot of rats since I've I been was, here. I yeah. went like six, seven, eight months without seeing a rat. I don't know where my head was. How in the Lord? I, no, I said that to you. Oh, and you said the same thing. And 
after that point, I started like looking for them and I would see them. They found you. And I would start texting DC every time I saw a rat. <laughs> and by like number like 27 or something, he was like, yo, bro, you, you got to stop this. This is getting ridiculous. I don't need an update every time you see a rat yes, in New York uh, City. You got to see a, rat a lot check. more. Rat check, bro. In the yeah. MT, uh, uh, like just getting on the subway, there's just rats chilling now. That's not <laughs> That's not where I see them. Like, I yeah. see it. The rats around my house uh, are brave as fuck. No, they, the go rat- out, they go out during the day. The rats that mm-hmm. I see are at the Young Thug trial. <laughs> I, I don't get it. <laughs> that's a that, you know that's a topical it one. Yeah, that's topical. It should have worked, right? That's no, topical. it worked. It worked. It worked. It, worked. I, it was good. It was just like out of some people's like realms, I guess. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Young you Thug is going to jail young forever thug because people snitched. No. Young Thug's going to jail forever because uh, his, oh shit. His, his gang snitched. You're talking out of turn right now. What? What do you That's mean? Not true. Don't act like Dylan wouldn't be the first person to snitch. <laughs> like, oh, are bro, you kidding me? No, I'm snitching though. What? I'm snitching too. No, but Dylan would get in the gang to snitch. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not even an informant. You just like, want to be a cop. Like, you work yeah. for the cops? I'm like, no, bro. I'm trying to. <laughs> I work for the Karens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just yeah. You're under foreman. Just <laughs> like, SEAL just Team for Six me. for Karens. My hair kind of is. Like, if you really put it down, bro. Like, if I, you had bleached tips, shower, you'd look like, like a fucking like, asshole. I could get a little, like, <laughs> hey. Where's the manager? You I do have like divorced like white mom look. You, you do kinda, have divorced. You're looking, you're looking real Tosh porno in the beginning. What do you? What does that even mean, gay? You uh, can take that. However Tosh you porno want. looks oh, okay. Okay. I didn't okay. think you. Okay. Sure. I mean, sorry, it was the wrong uh, guy. I meant Bo Burnham. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these guys so confused. No, like, you can't do that. That's <laughs> racist. I, I, I wasn't even That's racist. That's racist. That. That 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 it didn't happen to me though. <laughs> um, guys, I asked you a question. Oh, Kevin's racist. <laughs> just just that in. Good. That was good. I like that. <laughs> oh, right. um, just in. I am kind of racist. But <laughs> what? Endorses him twice. Uh, uh, but I will say we because wait. Well, I, uh, I asked if Dylan prepped you for this, right? And yeah. And we were like, and you were like, nah, because he doesn't do anything. Um, but <laughs> doesn't do anything. It's a the, wild. He does statement. everything. He does everything for this podcast. But anyway, I just want to get under his skin. <laughs> But then I just told you that you know we're gonna talk about your experience with drug culture and you and you just said yo I'm an I'm an Ohio State Buckeye and no. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean no oh, I'm so, a Buckeye no yeah no so uh, you t- and not from Ohio I'm from Phoenix okay so like I grew up like West Phoenix way out in like the fucking Boondocks nowhere and I yeah middle of nowhere and so like I grew up in like Rainbow Valley Buckeye. And so, like, we, like... What does that mean? So, we basically, like, most of our backyards were just, like, you can go outside and it's just desert forever. And then Mm. it's, like, you... I got nothing else to do, bro. Yeah, you got, like, javelinas in your backyard and shit. You just go outside and shoot a gun. It's fun. But, like, it, like, <laughs> it's not, not a good time. Yeah, but, like, everyone's uncle or, like, cousin or something like that is, like, cartel Dude, just or, like, guns. doing shit. Yeah, it's just shooting like, guns like, at nothing is such a man activity of, like, I just want to hear some loud bangs. I yeah. just want to hear <laughs> bangs, oh, bang. Are they, are they like that as well? They're like, yeah, let's go out in the backyard and shoot? Natalie's is that a she likes to shoot. Sometimes. Really? Sometimes. That sounds like kind of fun, bro. You don't shoot, Natalie? Do they all have, like, nah, skin cancer? I wish cancer? I was that cool. It's really easy. You don't also, have to Also, by the way, that cool. voice you hear, that's our uh, that's our amazing producer, our honorary fourth mic. That's Natty Ice. Natty Ice. I feel Natty, like... Uh, sorry, wait, wait. I want to ask Natty. Uh, Natalie, you've been drinking since 2 p.m. I have not been steadily drinking since 2 p.m. I was offered a beer at 2 p.m. Yo, why are you snitching right now? Bro, I told you oh, I D-snitch. love to snitch. Yo, this guy I really is a snitch, bro. Snitch. I can but smell it. To be fair, it's... It's about to be 7 p.m. and this is my third drink. I feel like that's not so bad. Oh, no, no, you, you, can, good, you can still drive. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. can still drive. Kevin can't judge anyone when it comes to drinking. So what you mean, bro? You did throw a drink in my face. You know what I mean? You oh, I, I wasn't talking about that. I was. Yo, how dare you, bro? I was just talking about your overall drinking habits. What? <laughs> I'm so this is news. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin this you're is an, an alcoholic, yeah. and we want to talk to you about yeah, it. <laughs> Yo, I will be. I will start fighting saying. you guys. <laughs> Bite. Bite it too, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh, I'm fighting. not gonna be the Burt Kreischer of doped up and dying where y'all gonna like have a month where I'm sober. Nah, you're fine, yeah. bro. We have to create a game to help your health. <laughs> we have to create a month game that. Those like, games oh yeah, suck, we're all playing dude. the game sober October. Guys, Burt's fucking dying. <laughs> You tried to get me to do Sober October. I don't even know why you're saying it like that. Yeah, pussy. I was a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Are you your fan? Did Joe Rogan are doing it? <laughs> you were like, smoking bro, cigarettes. What? I wanted you to get better. <laughs> I'm doing it for you. <laughs> I will say, no, it definitely wasn't for him. It was for my content so I could just have an excuse that every time he smoked a cigarette, you're using I, found it for a hashtag. I found it very comedic to just grab the cigarette. <laughs> I thought it very comedic. <laughs> 
I hate you, bro. I thought I pontificate. <laughs> I pontificate. <laughs> I pontificate and thought very comedic of me. <laughs> I pontif- I, uh... He does it. He does it on accident. Yeah. You know? I, I feel like he so should be. He should say that with your glasses on. Yeah. So I've sat upon the hill. And uh, yeah. I I I sit, like, it's very funny though. I sit amongst my squire. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> squire. <laughs> I sit amongst Dar- Darren Negri and DC Williams, wondering where why Kevin won't hang out with us. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the so Dave. I, you, I don't think you understand how much we talked about. I can't it. believe it, it, you. You came so far in comedy that you used to wonder why Kevin Sanchez doesn't hang out with you. That's like crazy. Nah, I mean, I mean, what you mean, bro? Yeah, I, I, I feel like you talking mad shit. I'm right not. Now. It's I don't just like that no, shit. No, you saying by the way, I'm not worthy. By the way, that's a great DC around? Williams. I did a show last night, and the you can't uh, talk about the fucking drop, dude. No, no, I was gonna no, drop. I love the drop. Appreciate you, bro. But I was gonna say that she brought me up and said. One of my good friends, DC Williams, I just went up. I was like, that's, you know, that's a comedy credit being Hope's best, one of Hope's best friends. And I'm just like, this is By the, the way, worst. My ever. favorite was uh, I did, uh, I did um, Stress Factory in New Jersey. Shout out Vinnie Brand and the entire club. Amazing club, amazing shows. But uh, <laughs> the first show, he goes, So what's your, like, what are your credit? We want me to say. I go, Oh, you could just, like, for that crowd, yeah, you can say, just see, seen him on Gas Digital. And he goes, All right. He goes up there, he goes, You've seen him on Gas Digital. You've also seen him on Comedy Central. I was like, Okay. Right, I must have. Wow. Bad, bro. I didn't mean to give you a back credit. Why can't they? They either bad, do too bro. much or don't do bad, like bro. their I didn't job. Know. Bro. I didn't know. Was that important? It's so weird. They either did, underwhelm you. By the way, before fucking... you did comedy, right? You were live yeah. Did you ever go to a comedy like show? No. 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 What? Like, did you ever go to like? You never saw stand up before you did stand up. Yeah. yeah. As reference, what a, what a wild I, I, I had to Sorry, go with my live. dad. So you went, but did you ever care about the credits? Like, did you ever go, this is why I'm here, because this guy was on fire? I mean, it, it definitely, like, perked my ears. I was young as fuck. I was, I was about to say, baby. Tristan started when he was, what, 16? Yeah. How old are you, bro? Uh, 24. He was 17. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm 19. It's been one year. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm 24, yeah. Have you ever lied about a credit? No, because it's too easy to research, and I feel like a fucking phony. Like, if I'm telling him, like, if I... It's like, you could blur the lines, where it's like, I was a finalist and funniest comedian with a day job. It's like, I got fourth, but I was a finalist. Oh, yeah, I was a yeah. finalist, yeah. Yeah, unofficial, not bronze, One but One of my favorites trophy. is uh, Florida has, like, Florida's funniest. And, like, 2014, Preacher, like, Preacher Lawson won mm-hmm. it. And then after, like, before and after that, it's just no, like, literally no one anyone knows. Yeah. And it's kind of funny where, like, you know there's someone in there. Like, I just visualize someone being like, Preacher Lawson won it four years ago. It's like, why is that your credit? You're not Preacher. Like, they do do weird people, like, like that. People, like, comics will yeah. do weird shit like that where they're like, oh, I just won Florida's Funniest. Preacher Lawson was on it four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? What is? Dude, what like, the fuck does that have to do with you? Wait, they say that shit on stage? Or they go, no, but you'll only be talking to somebody. Like, if you talk oh, to somebody, someone will be like, hey, like, oh, no, like, let's say you, like a booker. Yeah, yeah, Just someone yeah, yeah. trying to like, you know, chase a little bit. Like, I get it. Like, are you, are you, are you hating? Yeah, hating? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? Hey, Dill. Hating? Hey, <laughs> Dill. What do you mean? <laughs> that old I will fashion say, I don't, word. I don't, it's can a you, word called love. Can, I call love. Can you imagine, can you imagine talking with Dylan having just won a comedy contest? Yes. <laughs> You're hyped. <laughs> You're hyped. You're like, yo, I just won this comedy contest. You know, Preacher won it. Lawson won it four years ago. And he's like, I don't give a fuck, dude. That's not your accomplishments, bro. I don't give a... I need to Instagram this. Look at this fucking bitch. I like how how Tristan's impression of me is his voice, but higher. Yeah. (laughs) What's up, bro? Actually, just angrier. (laughs) Also, I mean, Kevin, my favorite favorite is Kevin's uh, Jadakiss laugh. (laughs) <laughs> Yo, you don't, no, 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 don't no, 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 my bad, not the JDS laugh, the brother laugh, your, your brothers do to each other, <laughs> oh, bro, that's mad disrespectful, my brother hit you with a, <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up, that's rude, life, so. dude. that is yeah. mad, it's rude, so funny, so. it's like, I uh, remember, ugh, yeah, like, when you heard that, you know, ooh, that shit if a girl dumb. said that, that hurt, if a girl goes, ugh, I do that you. to my girl, yeah, but that's the no. I'm <laughs> talking about like feelings. a random girl or like a girl you're talking to or you try to talk to her. She's like, Ugh. But by the, <laughs> you know by like, the way, you one of those. By the way, my girl like, says that's, to me, that's all So I drove, um, I drove 13 hours to South Carolina this past week. Nice. Uh, went with my girl. You drove uh, the whole way? Uh, yeah. Look okay. at you. But I'll try to be real with you. It has nothing to do with like, she made me. I would never. No, I, seat. I wasn't thinking she made you. Now I with was a woman thinking, driving, I'm not going that with anyone driving. I didn't think she made you. I was thinking you didn't let her. That's no, yeah, 100. Right. That's, that's what I was thinking. Too much she even asked me at one point. She was like, "Do you want me to drive?" And I was like, "No, she's good." I was hoping you'd say no. Like, I mean, that's why I drove. And they don't want my to either. shit to, from Arizona yeah. to here. I wasn't trusting. I'm not my gonna be able to relax. <laughs> I can't relax. Like I'm not gonna be able to like close my eyes and be like, "We're safe." 
Dude, <laughs> literally the first three days of me dating my girlfriend, I was going to go get pizza with her, and I we got in a fucking car accident. <laughs> and I've never seen someone so calmly approach a vehicular accident like this again. <laughs> like it's so it's so Bro. calmly just being like just literally just par for the course, baby. Dude, dude, like a fuck- how many accidents have you been in this year? You know, like- fucking none, <laughs> none, zero, and I'm proud of that, dude. Her car looked like a she's fucking she's go- just, like she's do you know just third time this month. Do you know how you go to like Top Golf and they have the golf cart with like the boxes on it and it's just got fucking duds There's and dents and shit? That was her Cadillac. Oh Christ, she just got out. She just fucking pretty much had her Wait, license. She had a yeah, dude, her dad her dad got one that like was cheap as fuck. He's like, the radiator doesn't work, so uh, it, does it fire. Up? Yeah, it it, 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 it oh, this is fire. like an Arizona Cadillac. Like yeah, it's an Ari- no, it's like a two thousand. Oh, you're chilling. It, it was a, she just oh, goddamn she, dude, used it. My yeah. mom, I've said this, I think I said this before. My mom like traumatized me as a kid because. We would get into fender benders and like she'd be pulling out of a parking space, boom, hit someone. We'd be at a stoplight, boom, hit someone. Like, bro, like, like, runs even, over like, get, like, hit. Home. Bro, Dude. I'm telling you, we got into a fender bender so often. Like, there'd be times like I'd be like on the way to school, I'd be like, Mom, we're late. Please don't like just think about this. Crash the car. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's what's wild. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like literally be like, Mom, remember, we're late, so don't like. And your mother doesn't drink, right? Nah, bro, that's even worse. This is all sober. This is all just how about old, your girl? Does she worse. drink? This is all just old she Jew. Does, does she do anything to like? like she she drinks is she <laughs> to to impact her vehicular yeah. uh yeah to impact her motor vehicle operation. No, she doesn't, and that's kind of like I wish she drank more, bro. <laughs> just so it would be like understandable. Bro, but like, there's no excuse. No, no it's crazy. not. This is like this is a crazy Florida story. I know I'm not gonna say who, but he's an older dude. Shout out, Mark. Um, just guy. <laughs> Bro, he told me uh, he told me a story one time. He goes, "Yeah, bro, I took a bunch of pills, high as shit, and I was driving on the wrong side of the road, and I woke up to just surrounded by like thirty cops. Mm-hmm. My car's on the side of the, on the side of the road, off the on the other side of the road, and he goes, they come to the car like, yo, what the fuck's going on? And he just goes, fuck, my blood sugar must have been low. I have diabetes, and they were like, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll drive you home, sir, and just drove him home, took him upstairs, and just, bro, he got that, he had the VIP treatment, dude. Diabetes, I didn't think diabetes could stop you from going to jail. That's fucking lit. No, nah, but bro. I wanted to ask him. But really- being old, but being old can. Being Is old he old? Be- yeah. Oh, I thought okay, okay. he's an older dude now, okay. but old enough to where he'd be like, but he could just be like, I, I passed out. What's what's what? yeah? What's up? With it? I'm just gonna get strung out. <laughs> just do all the drugs in the world. What drugs fucking... can you guys drive on? Like what? What's like... I drove the wor- the fucking most impaired I've ever been v- behind the vehicle was. I drove home from like a show in Phoenix. Oh, we got get closer, you little fucks. Uh, gotta... You doing a show in Phoenix? Yeah, I drove home from like a show in like south, like way east Phoenix to my place in Buckeye on acid. Just like 45, Damn. 50 minutes of mm. just driving, and it was at night, and it, it was spooky. What is acid? Shit. I couldn't even do, I don't think I could do acid at night, just like, I mean, I have, but like, what? walking around, like, how do you drive on acid? Bro. It was, so what I did was, was I followed the cars in front of me, because what are the <laughs> odds they're also on acid? <laughs> <laughs> so Fuck. I just kind of kept like an even car length and tried to stay in the lanes, and that was, ooh, woofy. And it was hard, dude. Was it's there sucked. a lot of because dude, acid makes me really trip the fuck out. And I know I would have felt like at one point I was driving into like a dark hole that was going. No, how did you? I, I, when I'm like, when I was sober doing 13 hours, there was times I had to like slap myself and be like, "Bro, don't just don't just look at the lines and like zone out. Like, you need to like oh actively yeah. think." I remember when I got because I I had. <laughs> I went over to my buddy's house, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to drop acid. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go do a show, and then I'm going to come back to his place, which wasn't that far from the club, so it wouldn't have been a far drive. So I take it, and then he's like, yeah, my chick came home. We got in a fight. You can't come back over. I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. Oh. And so I just got in my car, and I'm like, this is a spaceship. I can operate this spaceship all the way home if I do it right. And I just remember, like, I was also, sitting... shout out to dude friendships. I'm just wanna... Yeah. I just want to shout out to dude friendships. The the No dude friendship ever takes shit personally. Like, they do for dumb shit. But, like, the idea that you could be like, yo, bro, I know you. I know I why had you tonight. Why did you tell your friend? I know I had you tonight, but my girl is now just having a little yeah. piss but fit. But why did you as tell as your friend you that you're on acid? Like, hey, yo, bro, well, we took to it together, there. so oh, he was... Like, like, he was also on hey, acid. Bro, I need you. Did you say that? Did you say, why did you say? But he was also on acid. He was on acid arguing with his girl. Yeah, he was on acid arguing with his girl. So that was oh, oh my God. that was not a good environment. Bro, so I'm like, I, oh, you can't come over. She's a dragon right now. This I'm is, like, I couldn't do that. I, I remember being in a house with my my buddy arguing with his wife, 
And she was so mad. She knew I was in the house. We yeah. were, I was in the living room. She was so mad. She came down. And Kev's a fat, lazy piece of shit. <laughs> Hey, that, that was internal. That was bottled up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was internal. <laughs> so she comes like, like damn, bitch. she comes. What you just did made me want to cry. <laughs> nah, she comes downstairs like in her bras and her fucking th- her g string, oh, and just starts yelling at him. And I'm like, yo, I ain't know what to do, bro. I felt like I was on acid. Oh, bro, day. I thought that story. I would have gone outside. That shit would bug you out. Yeah, 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 you'd have to. You'd have to go. Outside. I was in Virginia. Was it like New York City? Even better. Nah, Still, you know, you know that's, a lot, that's a lot more outside to go out to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I said more couples, nature. You know what I said to couples that are Honestly, fighting I like to see her cheeks. Her cheeks is nice, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine she how uncomfortable fire. she's just like, and you're a fucking piece of shit. Can you stop looking at my ass? <laughs> and you're just like, I, 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 I just got here. I'm my I, bad. Nah, my bad. I, I, looked at my I, I didn't like, know anger could make cheeks flop like that. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. Yeah. Do, do you have an older brother? No, I have an older sister. Oh, oh, damn! It's not the same. When you have an older brother, you could always like look at his girlfriend and shit when you're younger. Like, oh, she got a fat ass. You, know I mean? <laughs> you catch little glimpses and shit. You're like, Bro, damn, that's, nice. that's you know what's so funny is oh, this is so this is so like young pervert, I guess. But like, I remember being like seven, and when my sister had like a cute ass friend, and I remember one day, like I don't know how it got, she like picked me up. She's like playing with me, right? Like playing with the kid, <laughs> and like I'm what? like seven or whatever. Like I'm seven. Like, I'm how seven. is it older sister? Older sister. <laughs> older sister. Oh, okay. Older sister. I thought it was a younger. The way sister. you put that out. Is Sorry. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I'm the youngest. I'm just uh, tripping. That older she sister. You older up, sister. But... And she, I remember she had a cute friend, and she like picked me up, whatever. Like on the, we were on a bed or whatever. And I remember like I, I would not like all I remember. The fuck, t- a seven year old that you don't pick up. You don't pick up. And I'm, I'm, maybe I was younger seven then. Year old is I'm, I'm I never wanted to fuck a girl that picked me up. That's a big fucking way to retain the memory. You never fucking just swaddle. No, never. How old was she? I didn't even think about. Is it Daryl like three years older than you? Seven. No, I've, she's like you can have a five. you can oh. have a conversation with a seven year old. Yes. There's countries where they put them to work. <laughs> she was twelve. <laughs> she's fucking twelve, picking up a seven year old. She's perverted. How is she? Is that? she like? Wha- like was really she twelve? Is that what you said? My memory wants to say. She a fucking 15? Amazonian. Wait, How tall is this bitch? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Was a tall bitch. She dribble uh, you? What the fuck? She did dribble. How, t- me. how small were you? Tiny. I guess tiny. I I didn't get taller until later in my life. Uh, so, wait. Was a heavy kid. So. Uh, she like kissed me, and then she oh, was like, "Yeah." And then she was like, "Guys, look!" So how cute. she swaddled you she was and like, kissed you. Look how cute you? it is! Like, like, like a look baby? how cute he is. And I remember being in the back of my head, bro. being like, "Bro, my dick's getting hard." Yeah, bro, <laughs> like, I, I'm in here for all the wrong reasons. Now I hope she was 12, because that's such a weird thing for a teenager yeah. to fucking do. Yeah. I will say, the, the more we talk, there's mad well, lady pervs, yo. There's mad like that, lady though? pervs. I remember, Steve yeah, I remember, p- I remember a lot of chicks like talking about how they wanted to suck little Bow Wow's dick or little Romeo's dick, and it was like. But Grown they were woods. rich celebrities. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It so doesn't that makes it better. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I will say when someone so like Drake and Millie Bobby Brown, you makes ship? it sad actually. Uh, someone like, nah, like, um, that. Um, like that. What are you trying to get me to say? <laughs> I was about to say, why'd you take a second? <laughs> I was like, what's happened? How old is she? Uh, I remembered. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I remembered, and I remembered not to answer my real answers. <laughs> yeah, I remembered to repress. Wait, wait, wait. We do not condone anything that is said by DC Williams. There you go. That's just our uh, make sure disclaimer. disclaimer. We don't right. we don't condone anything that's said by DC Williams. That's Which so means I'm not liable for anything I say on this podcast. That I would le- as a Jew legally, I no. <laughs> <laughs> um no, no. So wait wait wait. So we drove like 13 hours, bro. My girl met my uh my other side of the family. And I don't know how to explain it. Like she started, she started asking me. She was like, "No, oh, I appreciate you know how you know how nice you've been this week. You know how nice you've been over here and really helping me. I was like, I don't want to explain it. You asked me like, were you was that exciting or like scary? I was like, I don't care. I, oh. I never brought a girl home before. Really? So, no, that was like the wow, first time. Dude. Like Damn. I've ever the only only other time I ever brought a home a girl home before. I none of my family was there, and my dad called me back later, very angry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Wait, you brought a girl home and no one was there? Oh, so you just banged a girl at your house? I would no never. There? <laughs> your dad was really mad you smashed a girl in the house? You know what's funny is there was a time in my life, I'm pretty sure my dad thought I was gay, and I remember that moment where he was mad at me on the phone. I wanted to repeat, I wanted to be back, like, yo, at least I'm straight. Like, mm-hmm. That's why I fucked on your bed. Some shit you like fat that. motherfucker J Money, West Side. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't say your pops like your pops will strangle you, dude. Oh, bro, he, he has. gives me strangle vibes. <laughs> you know what's funny is we you know my, what? The only girl said to me, she was, you know, uh, I don't think she didn't say my dad's super nice, but she was like, you know, your dad's pretty, like, you know, he was very, I you know he was nice, you know, he was cool. Bro, the amount of times me and my brother and my sister had to stop and be like, yo, dad used to be wild. Yeah. I was like, my dad would like found a joint. He was like, who is this? 
this is your joint? I was like, yo, we, there was a time we would have gotten strangled, bro. <laughs> like, dead ass. Straight up Homer Simpson. Yeah, Homer yeah. Simpson shit, bro. My dad, I swear to God, I one time came home and told my mom, I was like, my daddy took a girl in the boat. He was cheating. But, uh, you uh, said that? Yeah. And my Snitching dad, since day one. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Since day one. Wait, wait, no, no. This man has no dog no. in him at all. Snitch That's him, crazy. You can have like, a where kitten is he going in your with chest, this, pal. I was like, where is he going with the story? And it's just telling on himself. Bro, even I knew not to say shit like that as a kid, bro. I was like, I didn't mm. know. She was beautiful. I was like, yo, my Wait, dad's dad didn't warn you, I was into non-monogamy since, like, out the womb, bro. Your dad didn't warn you, like, yo, don't say that shit. Don't say what happened. You know what's today. funny is, I think, you I keep don't. saying you know what's funny, and it's not funny. <laughs> it's never, it hasn't been funny. <laughs> it's it's funny, funny to me. For like it's not been six... funny. <laughs> You're like, you know what's been funny? You're like, my dad used to strangle, strangle me. You know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I snitched on him, yo. Yeah. He's the, I'm the reason my parents are divorced, yo. Yeah. Hilarious, man. Not my siblings don't live a regular life. Yeah. We all don't like each other. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is Elf? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what the fuck oh is up God. with Elf? Yeah. Do you like your girl now? Shut up. Do you uh, respect Kevin, your girl honestly, now more? Honestly, I'm I glad think... to know that your dad... Well, I'm not... I hate me? to say that I'm glad to know that your dad strangled you, just because I know that... At least t- someone did. Yeah, no, that sort of... Po- like, that kind of child rearing doesn't work, so Old I will not do rearing. it. With my kid. Because if I have a tiny Dylan running around to me and like, Dad, you want to see this new face thing I got on my Instagram? Uh, you strangle him, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Absolutely. He's like, yo, I made inline skates. And I'm like, <laughs> Dad, you ever, ever heard of Heelys? Yo, Dad, I Dude. built I built a loop-de-loop in the backyard. <laughs> Is there not something kind of like... Dad, check out this kickflip. Fun <laughs> about strangling your son, possibly. Say it again? What? Like, strangling your son. Like, if your son was like 16 and pissing you off and you just like... You just grab them like this and just choke them. I no. I hope no. What are you trying so? to say? I think I would hunt my 16. son. <laughs> I like that idea. I just go to the circuit breaker and I'm like, I have a paintball gun. When I was a kid, <laughs> I will say to, to put your kid in a forest with both paintball guns and be like, Nah, bro, I'm gonna give you even playing field. Let's see. Let's come on. You want to be a big dog? Let's go out there and be a beat dog. Yeah, and I'm staying in a hotel five miles away. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I'll let you be Rambo. I'm going to be an adult. I'm dead. My brother shot me with a BB gun, actually. That shit hurt. I like shot my bitch. brother. My brother shot me with a BB gun. I Dude. shot my brother with a BB gun. Bro, he pumped shot it mad gun. times, bro. Huh? Dickhead. He pumped it mad times like a dickhead, bro. Oh, we had to. Just laying on the floor. You had the pump one? Fight. Yeah, it was like it was the metal BB, though. It was, a real, it was like a shotgun Oh, pump. my yeah. brother had oh, that one. The pump. Yeah. That one is like. That hurts, bro. That's what the carnival games one. But what the you do I, that's not, what I want to know because like no little brother gets shot for no reason also, no. DC, I gaslit my dad is shooting himself in the foot with an airsoft <laughs> gun no, you you yeah really airsoft absolutely like, gaslit him that's acceptable what'd you do, what'd you do? How? How'd you do it no I, I sat we were, so we were in the, I was like 10 and we are in the backyard <laughs> and I had like because my, my dad was doing uh, doing okay and we had like the the like uh, fucking like heavy metal airsoft guns yeah and so we were like sitting there I'm like do you know it doesn't really even hurt that bad if you shoot your foot? Like, they make it, and he's like, no, it hurts pretty fucking bad. It destroys a can. I'm like, yeah, it's a can. You can punch a can. But I'm like, it's like regulation and stuff like that. They can't make it set pr- past a certain PSI. Himself? Yeah, and he's like, he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, look. And I got a gun. It was empty, and I just dry-fired it with the CO2. And I'm like, it's not really that bad. And he just went, puff, and just Ooh. sock foot. His mother. <laughs> Oh, it was bleeding, box. right? You... No, dude, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, you... it, yeah, was, it was airsoft, Oof. but like wait, not wait. bleeding. Round table. Are you allowed to hit your kid then? You gotta beat the shit out yeah. your kid. I think you're allowed to hit your kid. Nah, in I ran general. away. You ran away. Yeah, you right. shot himself in the foot. You can't oh, run yeah, that fast. Yeah, I'm gone. That's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Little kids are so fast. That always is your go-to. You're like, I can just outrun you. Do my stamina, bro. Dude, yeah. I had a fucking nightmare when I was growing up, and I was banking a corner in my house. My dad was like sleeping on the couch, and I was screaming as I turned the corner. And I don't know why my dad just like summoned linebacker energy, but he hopped from like six feet from the couch and just fucking tackled me. It's a dream. Just, yeah. I just thought it was a dream, like mid dream, just still sleeping, just tackled me. You're a sleepwalker. Oh uh, yeah, I was just no. I woke up from a dream and I was like nightmare. Ah, and uh, just I was like five, and so I was running around with like a little blanket and shit. My dad's like, "What is this fucking alien running through my house?" So I'm you getting... actually got tackled or not? Yeah, he tackled yeah, he me. Oh, so that you were really sleepwalking? happened. No, I remember it. You remember getting tackled by your father? No, no. Okay, I, I, I see what happened here. Right. I don't know. I he was, was sleeping. Confused. No, no. He woke up out of a dream and started yeah. screaming around the house. 
Oh. No, my dad was sleeping on it. We lost it. But my dad my dad was sleeping on the couch. That story was like a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Nolan, I don't know if it's right. one. Anyway. <laughs> Somebody spin a that, quarter. Yeah, is it right. really happening? Sorry. No, the, the hallway's rotating. And uh, <laughs> yeah, is your dad yeah. British? They're always British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah. anyone have a thimble? No, nah, I just I remember my dad was just fucking. Where his, is he? He was out straight up. He was where is me? And he was like grabbing me, just yelling, just out of a sleep, just holding me, just like ah! And like I was screaming. And then your friends again. Where is he? Oh yeah, my mom came out. She's like Tristan, calm down. Brad, let go of him. Tristan, calm down. Brad, let go of him. And my sister comes out with flash. Like what the fuck is going on? Yeah. She's like go back to. Bad and it, dude, he, my dad, he's a good, he's a fucking goof. It's I like you didn't, you didn't, you, my dad's a good, he's a goof. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. The thing is, speaking of drug culture, like he told me this recently, he's like, do you know that growing up, you, I've always had like an ounce of weed in the house? It's <laughs> like you've just never been able to find it. I'm like, god damn. No, he, that's kind of, I kind of sounds like he's sending you on a, on yeah, a, he's trying to send you on a mission. But he told me after the fact. So I'm like, you're saying I could have searched harder? <laughs> there was something there? Yeah, that's also, you kind, of, smell that's also kind of funny. He's like, there was a lot of Playboys, drugs, and everything around this house, and you never found them, you fucking loser. His dad didn't shake his hips. Your dad didn't shake his hips, right? No, I wish he did, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> your dad, does your dad have any Playboy uh, tendencies? Um, My dad does. He has a, a hip thing. He does a hip thing. I have a picture of it, bro. Is that where you get that from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, nah, I'll, I'll sit on my hips, bro. Dude, I watched my he dad. Does? He I does. watched my dad one time pay for my uh, sister's college like this, and bro, it was. I have a. I have a picture of my dad just sitting like this. Just teapot, short. And I stout. showed it to him, and I've never watched like a Israeli dude more. Like, there was no word. He was just, I was like, Yo, that bro. was like the. That was what you say really white things sometimes. And that yeah, was one of them. That the, was one of them. Like, I just watched my oh, dad, dad pay for my, my sister's, sister's college. college like, like, all of it, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, like, like the, whatever yeah, the semester was. Like, like, I just watched, like... That's how it came off. That's how it came off. Like, he, paid like he waved yo, his hand a little yeah. bit. Yo, my dad's a stunner, bro. <laughs> Did you know you go to Kmart and buy college? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it a one-time By the way, it, it wasn't, Fuck. like, a university. It was college in. My girlfriend, my, my sister... Your got, girlfriend? God damn it. Floridian. 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 That's not Floridian slip means you subconsciously meant that, though. Floridian slip? Yeah. Oh, f- uh, or uh, a Freudian slip. A Freudian, Freudian slip, slip, yeah. Right? I said, you had me say Floridian slip because <laughs> you said that Floridian word. Floridian slip like is the that. name That's of this episode. No, 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 no. It, it's already been I the name would, of an episode. but it is the name of an episode. It is. We've had this before. We've done this? That's why I said yeah. that. We're, but this is the first episode. What do you mean? We can't do this. Stop saying that. <laughs> I'm not starting a podcast again. <laughs> Guys, we just want to thank our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms. Farms. Go check out the other episode where we talk about um, everything for the Christmas episode. But Zia sent us this beautiful package full of Delta 8 and CBD pre-rolls. Ooh, look look, look at this. Dylan been busting that bag guys, open. Guys, this could be you. So guys, go support Zia Farms and make sure to use code DOPED-UP for like, I think it's like 80% off. It's a ridiculous amount of percentages That's off. too much. Now, this is our That's you guys. I mean, listen, you I mean, guys don't deserve it. Yeah. Right? But, but we but, love but, you. But we give it. We give it. It's a season of giving. I mean, y'all, you guys don't get gifts often, so I know it's odd for you, but like, we're going to give away the season. So yeah. guys, for 2023, go support Zia Farms. That's again, Z-E-F-H-E-M-P dot com. Say one more time. That's Z-E-F-H-E-M-P dot com. And go support Zia Farms because they support Doped Up. Doped Up, Zia Farms, forever and ever. And we ever, love ever. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. we're, we're, guys, we're halfway through the podcast. We're, we're more than halfway through. Let's go through the plugs real quick. Natalie, throw the music on. Let's go through the uh, table real quick. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching again. This is a, a, a new season, a new era. This is the Doped Up Comedy Podcast, boys. I am your esteemed host, Dylan J. Negri. Go follow me at Dylan J. Negri on Instagram and all platforms there. I've been tweeting more. I'll be real with you. Most underrated Twitter account of 2023. I'm calling you right now. Most underappreciated Twitter account of 2023. That's your boy. And guys, before we get going more on all the rest of the hosts, I think everyone agrees. Let's go straight to our guest, Tristan. Tell me, tell me to find you. Hi, you can find me at Tristan is a comedian on Instagram. Believe it or not, he is. Yeah, you can find me at TikTok at fucking Tristan does comedy with no E and comedy. And uh, also, I'm on the Final Stop podcast, co-host with uh, Daniel Bridge Gad. We have a lot of fun. We're gonna keep it going. Let's go from Phoenix into New York. In I got building. yeah, I got a fucking camcorder. <laughs> I got a little microphone. I got, got pizza. half of my set. I got a rat. <laughs> I got a rat. We're gonna smoke crack together. Yeah, smoke <laughs> crack together. Like a New Yorker. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Danny? Danny Polish, yeah, out there chilling. 
Oh my god, that's my. Uh, my Oh my god, that jersey. jersey I wear every day in my elf clips. <laughs> yo, this elf video got people hot, hot bro. bro. Shit, yo, you make it. Yo, I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna do a weekly elf video. Yeah, you got to not weekly elf. Yo, video. yo, yo Kevin, yo, don't support this, uh, guys. Go uh, um, go support the podcast at Doped Up Comedy on all uh, platforms as well. Go to YouTube, subscribe, rate five stars, do all that shit, like. It really helps us. Rate, review. Reviewing really helps. Guys, go say mean things about me in the comments. It just re- Make sure it's under by a five star. Uh, DC Williams, tell me to find you. Um, you can find me on Instagram at... Yo, I, my at name needs to pull up too. I want the slide and shit, bro. Oh, I need the oh slide. you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At DC Williams Comedy on Instagram. Bam! Is, oh! Ooh. That shit is fire. You gotta change the false prophet though. I don't want the prophet title really. It's not even the false part. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's how egomania DC is. He goes, he doesn't even see the false part. I'm that's like, no, it's negative. DC. It's, <laughs> like, I don't, saying I don't mean like things. That's a heavy title of the bear, even though you're saying bullshit. You know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, but um, anyways, yeah. DC Williams comedy um on Instagram um and uh, yeah, you can fucking find me there. Kevin Have Sanchez. a happy holiday, man. Wild Kevin Sanchez on um, Instagram. Wild Kevin Sanchez on Twitter. And Wild Kevin Sanchez on YouTube. Guys, and also none of this happens without our amazing producer, our honorary fourth mic, the girl behind the board, behind the... Let's behind go. It all, Natalie Ice. Ice, Ice baby. Natalie, tell me what to find I was going to signal you if you forgot to... <laughs> don't tell him you do that. I was going to. <laughs> don't you, you don't tell that. the viewers there's, there's weeks where uh, you could find me on past episodes. Actually, this episode one. There's no such thing. Um, Natalie? Uh, Gas Digital now on YouTube. If you like Gas Digital Network, me and Blind Mike have a wrap-up show weekly. And Natalie DiCicco underscore edits on Instagram. Is that the podcast you promote now when you uh, t- yeah. talk on podcasts? I Natalie. mean, I, o- I always say uh, on that show, I always say follow doped up comedy on instagram because i make the clips for that all right all right, all right. Oh. We're, we, we we've gone down the water spout a little bit we, we've fallen back a season we used to be we used to be at the end of rap well maybe not rap no one no one ever asked me to vlog <laughs> that's on so rap. shitty that's just bullshit all right wait let's get into some of these questions and um i'm getting a call it's um my property manager i haven't paid my rent um, <laughs> It's not even the first yet. It's probably about Buddy, that. Buddy, that's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Last month. Uh, <laughs> last month, oh. dog. He's like, <laughs> <"Hey>, this month. You're talking about that month? Um, <laughs> so listen, Tristan, uh, we appreciate you coming through. We of appreciate course. you being Thank part of the first me, uh, um, episode for the new uh, wave of this podcast. Uh, I didn't give you much uh, pre-workout for this. Ep- like, you know, I didn't give you yeah. much of a, a, a tell, pre-workout. but... Pre workout. <laughs> I couldn't oh, think yeah, of a word, weird. bro. I'm good with words, <laughs> dude. Weird. I'm great with words. You're doing and, uh, words. Uh, this year, I'm doing words. 2023. This, this yeah, year, yo, I'm, I'm doing words. Yo, I'm all 2023. Yo, I'm blowing up in the vocabulary scene. <laughs> 2023. You, yo. and, you and Brendan Shop blowing up. <laughs> yeah. <in our laughs> vocab scene, Check bro. me out on my, on my elf podcast. Yo, I'm hypothesizing my career. <laughs> 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 Like he's about to like rap for a second. Let's go through some of these questions. Tristan. What would be your drug of choice? Um, marijuana. See now. Well, that's... well. To be fair, alcohol. Alcohol let's is go, my really? drug of choice, but I'll, I'll... I can't do it anymore because I'm oh. too good. <laughs> <laughs> you got too good at alcohol yeah. anymore? No idea. When did you stop? Five months ago. Five so, months ago. No one yeah. you really love a vi- back. No, like when you really love a video game and the new one comes out, and you're like, bro, I'm just gonna keep playing this one. Like you, you completed. Oh yeah. Like, oh you, yeah. What you does that 100% mean? What does that alcohol. mean? You were nice at it though. Why? Why you? Were you good to drink with? Were you an angry drunk? No, I, I'm good. I get too comfy. I get, I get too comfy. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've done while drinking? Nah. It's, no sad stories. Oh, by the way, I, I had this in my thing. Sorry. No sad stories. If I ask you a question, you come out with a sad story. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Fuck me? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Buddy, fuck you. No, fuck you, dude. Fuck DC. Let somebody say a sad Pause. story if they want to say a sad story. Pause. Yeah. Yo. Tell us your sad story. No. <laughs> Have y'all heard Under a Bridge by Nirvana? Because <laughs> 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 that's my lot. That's weird about me. me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> every every so dude wait. who plays guitar. What? They do shit like that. Yeah. Never heard a song because my life. And then it's yeah. It. It's I thought you meant heroin. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what? What was? Was there like an? Was there like an? Uh, you said comfy. What was the event that got, you were too comfy? Uh oh yeah, my buddy's Bert. So uh, my buddy who I do a podcast with, uh, Daniel Bridgegad from Phoenix. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine. And uh, I rolled up to his. This is probably like one of the catalysts that was me being like, yeah, I should chill. And um. Like I uh we went to his it was his birthday party 
And so it was me and my girlfriend, and we party like how like I, I people party, you know, <laughs> like we, a rock star. Like we were having, like you're in a desert. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. there's no rules. We part, we desert party, not in the desert, and <laughs> okay. we we take that everywhere. Mm. So because we were in the city. <laughs> yeah, but I rolled up to his very much so 24 year old adult birthday party, just with, like an <laughs> open case of Michelob Ultras. Like a forty rag, just being like, "Sup, bitches!" Yeah, this is like, a twenty-four year old. Oh yeah, that's pretty young to have like a. That's what I said. <laughs> that was my yeah, excuse, dude. but my yeah, that's. <laughs> I, see, I, th- that, I thought I was coming here to liven this shit up. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I said, and everyone was playing Uno. And Uno, I, I know everyone was playing Uno, and I'm like, "Is there keys in a jar at least?" Like, I, I know for real. I walked in, I'm like, "Yo, y'all are fucking." Dang. <laughs> and like, <laughs> we proceeded to get worse from there. And then I stayed for probably about like 45 minutes. And they're like, yo, y'all should like, y'all got anything else going on tonight? And we're like, yeah, we'll dip out. And then I'm like, all right, see ya. Dapped up my buddy, knocked over three candles. And then like, it just His got- house on fire. <laughs> oh no, knocked over three candles, just candle wax everywhere. Just mm-hmm. all over the carpet on his fucking TV. And like- By the way, this doesn't sound like a big problem, bro. That's but annoying That's- though. It is one of the worst Wax substances. To oh, have yeah. On oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To get fucking candle wax out of. I would rather have cum everywhere. I was about to say, what would everyone rather have on you? Candle wax forever or cum? I'd candle rather wax. have candle wax. Candle wax. <laughs> Satisfying to peel off, and yeah. I won't have another man's cum on me. I like, I like how he left you, though. He was on your side with the cum. He was going to go for I might have made bro. it too dramatic. <laughs> yeah. And he immediately was like, absolutely candle wax. Guys, well, it's like kind of like. Have I might have raised the stakes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's saying, it's like, hey, I've tried my own semen. It's like, would no. you drink a gallon right now? It's like, <laughs> no. Are you willing Gross. to prove it? Yeah. Do you want chicken wings? Do you want all of them? So you, spilled, so you spilled candle wax everywhere. Yeah, I just absolutely. Pimp slapped like three scented candles by accident. And, what did they say? Um, his girlfriend said nothing, and that's what hurts the most. And she just sat she just there, stared at you, stared. It's weird when you want to be reprimanded. And we and I and we recorded the podcast at the time at his place, so I was gonna have to come back there in like three days. And like during those three days, he just didn't text me. Did you offer to help lead? Oh yeah. Pay for Wait, it? how much candle wax? Fat like a. Uh, like an, enough, seem like a enough, big deal enough for it to be an issue. <laughs> yeah. Basically, over the course of me like going into his house, I was just a tornado for like, like they had been burning for a while. Yeah, it was like yeah. the party had started, and I it's just bowls of hot wax at that point. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah, it's a fucking issue. I burn a lot of candles. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. We burn yeah. all the other things on she this burn side a of the lot table. Of candles, and also he didn't text you for three days. It's so funny because. You could be like your girl is kind of hates your friend right now, and you know that's why he's not texting you, and you're just not even saying anything. But you know why though? No, I don't even talk about it. No, I I was fucking my, my I brought my chick. Not, I was hurt. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was fucking. I was sad, dude. I was fucking sitting there. I'm like, yo, is everything all right? And he's like. <laughs> Yeah, I just, it's, it's what it is, man. Yeah, he's exactly. <laughs> it's he's what like, it is, he's man. Like, and he did like I was, I was like, I was getting too, I was just drinking too much. I was just the thing is, it was, it wasn't like beer, or nothing. It was like it's seltzers, a- like hard, and which is the most just limp wrist, yeah. boneless. I was so thing against seltzers when they first came out, and then bro. Pass me a claw, dude. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, They're so I, good. They had sweet. They had the 24 ounce uh, ruby. No, ruby grapefruit. Mm-hmm. It's not sweet. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. And they had 24 like fucking mortar shell like uh, tall boy cans and shit. Like yeah, 24 drinking, blue one ounce. Yeah, I'd get like drinking. five of those, and then like just, dude, that's a. I'd power through them, dude. I was like, I'll, so how long have you been sober now from drinking? Five months. Five months. Five months. Okay. Thanks five for months. listening. Um, oh no, dude, I'm I'm always here listening. So wait, you knocked uh, what's your name again? Candles is just stop drinking. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's bro, bro, DC. Just, this is oh, why there's three of us. Uh, this is why there's three of us. Like, I didn't want to say because I like you. I, 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 <laughs> to be uh, fair, motherfucker, where's the car crash? Where's the DUI? Where's the mom you fucked? Yeah. Like I they never, said fire earlier. You said I, no. I was I, like, like, you okay. spill some candles. Candles. Next. No, well, to be fair, so wax got on some TVs. I annoyed two people. Like. I ruined a wedding. Like, yeah, I don't you even sh- drink. I was about to say you ruined a wedding by okay, you don't really? drink. What were you doing? Being you? Drinking, Bruce. Oh, 
That's it. No, be himself and do I it. I was yet. also the I'll, thing I'll, is I'll, I'll, I'll the thing is the thing is that was like the issue with me was road sodies. I loved me a good road soda. What's it, that mean? Oh, uh, you was drinking with beer, drinking and driving, drinking and driving, yeah. oh, and God. like it wasn't me like being like fucking hammered That's and driving. Some, but in I those love, states, uh, hold it's on, it's not no. me being hammered and driving. It's me drinking while I'm driving. There's a difference. No, 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 There's oh, a oh, difference my. between drinking mean. and driving and consuming alcohol while I'm driving. Yeah, I can have a fucking white claw next to me Sipping i mean it. someone can swerve in my lane i'm like this guy's a fucking asshole <laughs> like it is me that that's but happened in those states bro there's no like the two things you're you gonna drink different. and drive it's just mad road the, well there's <laughs> no tra- there's no there's no mta there's yeah. no there's this no mad road <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I do words good all 2023. Yo, On Phoenix the back, got mad road. Mad oh, road. Oh, oh, it's redundant. Uh, yo, I've heard about Buckeye Mad Road out there. <laughs> yo, it's like, like you're talking about like... women too. <laughs> uh, yo, bro, I, went, I just came back from LA, man. Yo, <laughs> you see desert out there? Crazy. Mad road. You were talking about cra- Arizona earlier. Mad just... road, crazy desert. <laughs> it's Heat. in the middle of nowhere. I was like, I feel like all of Arizona is nowhere. So I was, it's like fucked up. So Tristan, I was gonna ask the devil's drug of choice, but that's clearly alcohol. Homosexuality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What up? <laughs> DC, do you have anything to tell us? <laughs> no, I gotta yeah. give you that one. That was good. That was good. That was good. Are you saying that's my devil's drug of choice? No, not yours. It's a devil. I don't know. Oh, Just nice. in general. Yeah. Everyone knows it's my devil's drug of choice. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's the fucking. That's the anchor over my shoulder, dude. I can't stop sucking dick. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Do you know how many times I've been that in a gay club? No, I've so been in a gay club sober. <laughs> I'm sober in a gay bar. So Chuck and Todd. By right. the way, that got to be the most impossible thing. To yeah, do. they will be buy you a gay bar. There's one thing gay it's dudes do. Is buy I did it. Even I did it. Even if you drink water, they was drugged. Oh yeah, dude. This when was the last time you've been to a gay club, and why were you sober there? Uh, Halloween for my fuck, dude. This is the Wait, rudest what? shit. I would never get drunk at a gay bar. Yeah, you're just you're be not, you're because, no. You're gonna be talked into something. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone's gonna come up to you with bro, a pretty face and a lot of confidence. Bro, and and like, like, all I need is compliments, bro. And then you're Dylan's got drunk. a boyfriend. Uh, Dylan's uh, got uh, a uh, 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 You walk into a gay club, you're, they're get, buying you eight. They're drinks. buying you like drinks. Yeah, you're not drinking. It's you're hard not to say. Bro, drink. use that butthole. I don't know. Yeah, you're having. There's a softest mouth at the bar contest, and you're winning. You're winning. He said, You suck a dick, son. <laughs> They're like having a cherry stem tying contest in the corner. By the way, that's how stupid I am. It's oh not even, God, even sober. Bro. If there was a cherry, uh, seriously, they're like, Cherry tying contest up here. I'd be like, yo, guys, be right back. I'm going to go do that real quick. That's that's like a fucking sitcom. You swear your homie's not gay and he does shit like that. There's a cherry tying not contest like my at a father. gay bar. Like, your father has no idea how many times I've stopped you from being gay. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be proud of me if he heard about it. Elaborate. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that, bro? <laughs> okay. Your homosexual barrier. <laughs> Just some gay event happens Why and DC stop- stands in. <laughs> Not today. Why are you stopping him? Let it happen. <laughs> Dylan might be gay. <laughs> <Just Yeah. listen. laughs> Do you know how many times DC has had you know to, like, to grab his dick and be like, no. DC is, Wait, you're grabbing my dick? <laughs> Not because I want to. This is my dick. I have to. <laughs> this is my dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this improv. I don't like this yes and. This is Fuck you, disgusting. Kevin. <laughs> See, now we're all this gay. This is terrible. You can't piss someone off by sucking. Oh, yes, you can. Dylan's about to fall into the train <laughs> track. I've been pissed If your girl sucks check. someone else's dick, you'd be mad. Like, you'd be pissed. What'd you yeah. say? I said Dylan's on the border of falling on the train tracks of homosexuality at any <laughs> Why moment. Why is it a train track? Because he's about to get Why hit by a luxury. Because he's, he's about railed. to get fucking oh. railed. Dude. <laughs> okay, I'm slow. I'm slow. I'm slow. It's okay. Slow. I mean, no. We know. We know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> um, We're wow. all friends, guys. Let's get. Speaking wait, of rails, so let's get back on the it. The devil's drug of choice is alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah but and, I also. But you still smoke weed, so you kind of cat whatever. Yeah, I, I don't s- want to give them that those props. Yeah, I smoke a fuck ton of weed now to compensate for the lack of drink. What's the best movie to watch when you're high? Um, ah, oh, dude, I literally I, every movie I watch. There's not even like a while I'm I high. I said, "Fuck your issues, bro." <laughs> I yeah. wanted to keep going, yeah. yeah, dude. It's like, it's, what's the best movie to watch while I'm high? It's like, dude, I have to be reliving high. my life. I'm bro. like, I'm That's like, I, it's not even like it's me sitting there. I'm like, I'm high and enjoying this. I'm like, all right, I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to drink. Like, it's like when I I do I'll do shro- I've been doing a lot of shrooms recently. Yeah. And so, what's so, your favorite? Uh, what's a good shroom? Um, movie? I watch Grand. Budapest Hotel. Good movie to watch. Oh, sure. Stylistic. A lot of a lot very Anderson. pretty. Very pretty. Overrated, but dope. Uh, Paddington. I watched on shrooms. 
I need to watch the new um, Pinocchio on Shrooms. No, you should watch Paddington. Because <laughs> <laughs> you go, fuck your Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. No, it's hard. Paddington. Right? It's, I honestly, what like, Paddington? Paddington it's, the bear. it's the bear. Uh, but oh. honestly, like, it's probably Paddington and Paddington 2 are like one of the best. From like movies. The, the cartoon book as a kid? Yeah. yeah it's my girlfriend's favorite movie. It's what? fucking hard for isn't it? it? That little bear. I love it. He makes me I'll feel so him. many things. Charlotte's Web is the best shit from Charlotte. He makes me feel so many it. things. Dude, it, it, like they had, the funny thing is there's a joke in like uh, this Nicolas Cage movie that came out with Pedro Pascal. Oh, yeah. And like it's basically talking about like the greatest. Why the fuck does a dog look like that? Uh, because he's fine, Eyes. dude. Shut up. He's what? I don't He's think fun. the dog is a character. He just got a dog in this scene. Yeah, he just acquired a dog because he's a silly little bear and he just gets <laughs> Is he stuff. British? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. He eats marmalade sandwiches. Uh, uh, ew. Marmalade. No, he's... Is this like Polar Express? Is it like that type of film? Nah, it's basically like a curious Ooh. bear who's always wanted to go to the big city, gets a ticket to the big city, and now he's just trying to make his way. And he is doesn't he... eat anybody. Remember when you tried pitching yeah. that movie to Trevor Noah? No. About a curious bear. He's the curious bear, though. Oh, you're a curious bear. I don't remember that at all. He's making all that up. But Paddington, I've never, I never. So that was a good movie to watch on shrooms. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's heartwarming. I feel like somebody went to go watch Avatar, and I was like, I don't want to see it because I hate movies oh, that get I'm not too sci-fi and fantasy together. Like Harry Potter's too much for me. I hate Harry Potter. Right. What? Harry Potter's bad. I don't like Harry Potter. Why? Is that um? Is just too much uh fa- fantasy too much day fiction. Shit. <laughs> too much day shit. Too much you magic. Want- yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much like you I like sci-fi, magic. but not on that like level. It's Lord like, of the Rings, where do you stand? It was good. I thought it was. A I like sci-fi. So was practical. that's so that first. I can only do one though. All right, the you can only one. do the first one. I can only do the first one. Of Lord you of can't the Rings. even not two towers. The second coming too long. It was like not the second. It's the two towers. The two, I can't do two towers. Two towers. towers. Oh, the Return remember. of Christ. The, the re- second <laughs> one. Yeah. I never forget. I I don't know. I liked it a little bit because the first two good. First two are good. But yeah. What about the third one? <laughs> nah, there wasn't nah. a third I'm, tower. I was trying to get yeah. you to like the whole thing. Fucking <laughs> conspiracy. Matrix theorists. is the only thing I like all three of, and the third one was bad. I've but. never seen a Matrix movie. He's 24 though, and I understand that because I kept trying to get my homie to watch it, and he hates it, and I don't know why. <laughs> and he keeps trying to get me to watch Harry Potter, and I don't like it. Harry po- Wait, your homie's trying to get you to watch yeah. Harry Potter, bro? Brandon, Brandon loves Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. Of course I don't know he why loves that Harry Potter. Me. That is a what? weird homie movie. That's a watch. weird homie. Hey, yo, bro, you want to say? I will say. I you want to hold I've, wands, bro? Like, I've done a. I've done a lot <laughs> yeah. to like just fuck yeah. with these two, but then I would never sit Kevin down and be like, yo, bro, Harry Potter. Like maybe I would make you do Star Wars. Like I, I, so, I try, bro. I'd make you sit down and watch Batting. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so wait, new question. What's the movie you forced me to sit down and watch? Paddington? Paddington. Yeah, yeah, what's the <laughs> Make you get some me? fucking culture. <laughs> what's the you? movie you'd rate me to watch? Honestly, I think every Pixar movie needs to be rewatched on some sort of psychedelic. Like Buzz Lightyear. You guys Lightyear so? one, uh, dude, that was a good movie. The, I got I got it. Lightyear, I saw the new one. Oh, bro. it got me a little bit. Bro, in, I, in like one of the moments. Teary eyes? That's what I'm saying, dude. Got me teary eyes? It got me bro, teary I love getting wait, teary wait, eyes. Are you on drugs every time you do this, though? I mean, that? I'm always a little bit on drugs, okay. but that doesn't yeah. affect I, I want to get back personally. to some, some of the questions before we get out of here, but I want, want to say this. I was watching Last Chance U, which is a basketball show about just Remember kids that? in basketball in college. And at one point, this dude starts crying, and like his dad's like in a hurricane. And Bro, the way they play the scene, me and my girl, they're tearing up. The scene cuts, and the kid smiles. like, oh, yeah, so I called my dad later that night. He called me back. I was like... That was, that was all for nothing. <laughs> that was for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. You made me cry. Dad's okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, bro. He wanted you wanted a Kill that character <laughs> off. That's yeah. a real guy. That, no, nah, bro. That was that's character development right there. <laughs> Taken away from that kid. <laughs> he, he was about to go Co- Kobe Jordan mode on them. Now yeah. he's just gonna go. You know what though? It have, it's, you I, I give you this. It shouldn't have been five minutes later. It should have ended and then the, like the next episode. episode or like that's like even more alive. infuriating. I take yeah. it back. I take it back. That's even more infuriating. Um, this is one of my favorite. Uh, biggest boner killer. When you're high or drunk, whatever. Biggest boner killer? Yeah, the no, drug, it could be the sex. Or it, could be, no, I mean, yeah. or it could be like buzz what's kill. happening in the room. What a buzz, buzz kill. kill. Biggest buzz kill. Oh, I was about to say boner killer and buzz killer completely. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was about to say, I'm like, what makes me soft when I I'm high? I think called both. I think they're about the same. <laughs> I'm like deep conversations. You know what? Mm. Yeah. So buzz- Answer both those things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what makes me soft when I'm high? Uh, videos of pandas. They're just chilling. Uh, that doesn't make me want to fuck buzz at kill? all. That, uh, buzz kill? I mean, while I'm high, a buzz kill. Uh, sudden plans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real, though. That's yeah. Real. I was going to say is... I resonated with have that. You ever, have you ever pulled a 007? That's like when you're like really high but in public, but you're That sounds like when sober. you get a blowjob while taking a shit. That's some high school shit. That would be that was some shit in high school. They would call it that. You're like, yo, you ever had a double O seven? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. 
It's where you make out with two girls and you finger one while yeah. the other one. <laughs> yeah. Remember they used to two in the pink, one in the stink? Yeah. Like yeah, just being like, three in the butt. It's like, you would never do that. You ever do the Dutch oven? Yeah. <laughs> I fisted Stacy in fifth period. I think Dutch period. oven is that, is what he said. I think is Dutch oven really? is getting blown on the toilet. No, that's a... That's, that's a, a getting your... Uh, no, that's a... A Dutch oven is when you fart under a blanket, sir. Oh, you're right. You're thinking about a blumpkin. <laughs> I didn't, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I was also thinking it was a blumpkin. Yeah. The way he said it. It's a blumpkin. It's a blumpkin. <laughs> sir, you're thinking about a blumpkin. A blumpkin. Have you ever called your parents while you were high? If so, which drug? Oh, dude, my parents, yeah, I've I've been on acid in front of my parents. I've been on shrimps in front of my parents. They know? Yeah, I've taken shrooms. In was front it, of my was parents. it either parent you're more like both nervous, my parents? My mom and dad out. don't give a fuck. Really? Do they? Do yeah. they do it? Do they um, it? my dad smokes weed. My mom will eat it sometimes, but she's like <laughs> she just falls a lot. No, she's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does he eat parents? it like that? Yeah. You got young parents or old parents? Um, <laughs> uh, my mom. She's like my mom is it's about so to turn funny. sixty. Okay. And my dad's like fifty three. Falls a lot. Wow. So like, he likes older not, women. They can't. Really yeah. Well, she lied when they first met. She lied. No, yeah, she said she was fourteen. <laughs> um, no, uh, they. Uh, she said she was like twenty three. Speaking, she was of, actually speaking like of seven uh, liars, uh-huh. R. Kelly is getting married, dog. Is what? He really in prison? And having a child in prison. What? Yeah, with a, a guard or something. No, nah, no, nah, like way, his bitch. By the way, the only reason he's oh, having wow. a child is because he hasn't had sex in a while. Ah, I doubt that. Is that the name of an R. Kelly song? Oh, oh, no, yeah. oh, that's a good. Now, I heard he put out an album. That's yeah. a deep one. Thirteen want- songs on it. His favorite number. Huh? I hey. made <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, but I've been fucked up talking to my parents. And you, oh, you, you said anything wild? You never gave a fuck, huh? Who do you give a fuck about being high in front of? Like, ah, shit, I shouldn't be this high in front of them. Uh, like, a, like being in like social situations with like people I respect. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not saying I don't respect my parents, but, like, there's a there's a baseline of respect. Just in. Yeah, no, this is in. Fuck you. Tristan, Tristan does not does like not his parents. not respect his parents. I do, to a point. Uh, no, but, like, I mean, they've seen me shitting my pants at Disneyland. They've seen me more fucked Wait, up than that. Shitting your pants How old? at Disneyland? I was 12. It was too old. What terrified you? It wasn't. It was... I, <laughs> <laughs> no, great, great my, what terrified you? You think I got the shit scared <laughs> out of me? <laughs> I just like I don't know. You found out like just no IBS. Howard Hughes was a pedophile. By the way, you, see, you know when people say I got the shit scared out of me, they don't actually mean that. No, I right? know that, but he said he shit himself for real. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. But like because like, of the dipping dots, not because yeah, I Mickey Mouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ate a pickle. Holy fuck, yeah, Mickey! I, I ate a whole dill pickle and wash it down with like a gallon was of Coca-Cola. Was it Mickey Cola. Mouse's pickle or was it right, hey, just a pickle? Hey, yo. I mean, no. Oh, okay. All right. It was just a pickle. It was Peter Pan's pickle. Pe- <laughs> he he, he robbed it for the Disney. porn. I just, you said I could be a boy forever. <laughs> <laughs> you have good guards though. Like, I feel like you're never going to go too far off balance because you knock candles over, you stop drinking. You yeah. Shoot yourself <laughs> at Disneyland. I, like, still, <laughs> I, still, I still think the candle thing was mild. I like, think you should have a beer today. Well, I, like, I like how we try to convince him. Like, That's yeah, not like, that, what are you bro. Like, <laughs> go back like, and drink it. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, wait. I'm, what are we doing? Wait, I feel like something. Tristan, I think you had lame-ass friends. Nah. I've had Kevin literally, like my, my best friend, I do a pot, he threw a drink in my face in public at like, a party. And I called him the next day to apologize. I did. <laughs> yeah, because you probably did something wrong. Oh, I did. But no. Nah. Exactly. <laughs> nah, it was warranted. Yeah. No, no, listen. I think you had lame friends. I don't think you did anything well, wrong. Well, do you know I, what? I think you can start drinking again. <laughs> yeah. I, I have. And doing blow. Podcast, and fucking hookers. I've been, mulling, I've been mulling it over. Because when the thing is. You've been mulling drink- it over? Uh, yeah. Uh, it over. <laughs> you earned it. Uh no I I because like I've been thinking about drinking a lot especially since I've been here but honestly <laughs> that's the devil drinking that's the devil bro drinking, drinking drinking leads to me being like I'm fine with doing cocaine and then uh, that oh, just it's a gateway me- drug for you, okay. what it's a gateway drug don't, wait we don't okay. say that all this we don't say that that all gateway? this stop it gateway stop it I'm trying to figure out why don't say that on this episode gateway show, drug or gateway stop uh, I hate you. You have to let them explain. You got to explain yourself. It's a narcotic. We don't say, there's no such thing as gateway drugs. Yeah. Only great decisions. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna nah. be those people. Son. Great decisions. <laughs> I, mean, I know That's what you're saying. Let's I, mean, I know what about. you're saying because like sometimes when I do when I do drugs when I drink actually mostly when I, drink, I have fun. I'm, I'm having a blast, but I'll throw, I'll throw drinks in people's yeah. faces. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, you know. <laughs> the thing is, I just I I blow money. And like oh, I can't, you can't do that in New York City. I can't yeah, do that, can. bro. And, like, you know I, and you'll still do it, and you still don't know how you're surviving, but you'll figure the, it out. 
thing. Why are you trying to convince him? No, like, <laughs> honestly, like bro, if All I right. don't know how I did it, but I'm I would make like 300, 350 a week, and I would still figure out how to get fucked up still. Of course. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, like you worked thing... at a bar, you were drinking at the fucking bar, oh, yeah, you piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're an awful person. <laughs> what are you talking about? The dealers. You also house. smoke. Who works, who works at a bar? Doesn't dry. drink. I don't. No, who's who works <laughs> at a bar and doesn't drink? You know? uh, Gary. Yeah, I get you. Oh, no, I would, no. No, I you think drink. Gary you're didn't right. drink? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. He gave Gary would drinks. do way more uh, wine right, right, tastings right, right. than he we, Before we get out of here, um, we have uh, Tristan, again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Before you leave, I always like to say this for the, for the end because we're pussies here. What's your worst trip or worst thing you've seen while tripping? What's your worst trip? Again, no sad stories. Or, as you think about it, make it the sad one. Yeah. Um, it don't have to be sad, but it, uh, it could be. It has yeah, to be it could entertaining. Be. Fun. I thought it, was... <laughs> it has to be entertaining. If it ends with candles, you're off the podcast. Mm-hmm. No, no. I can't believe that's the reason why. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, like, it was just like the thing it's is, so mild. the reason the reason why I thought it was too much is because I was a fucking nuisance. And that's the thing. I don't want to be in New York City. I don't want to be a fucking nuisance at a bar. I don't want to be and have that ruin a spot for me. Have that ruin an opportunity uh, for you me. Have just a, someone you haven't met comics in New York City Just because I'm yet. an annoying drunk. This comics below you who there's a there's like a checks and balances in new york mm-hmm. crazy will balance like you you will you won't spaz out someone will punch you in the face maybe a random person you know what i mean oh yeah i've had a pe- crazy person yeah like, i've had people like fucking hit me in phoenix and shit like comics being too dry me. what not like getting too drunk but like oh. the dude was all like he was on one like he was tripping his shit and like so it wasn't really i can't to wait to drinking. move to a new city and tell people that all the reasons I nothing got is wrong with you fault. you can drink bro yo this guy's the <laughs> devil he, run, bro. he runs in my family oh. yo bro what, what alcohol quitting no, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was about to say, quitting runs in the family. Say that to Aunt Jen. Die to cirrhosis. Because <laughs> she ain't no fucking loser. loser. Yeah. <laughs> Who she the fuck was to live 60 anyway, yeah. man? Yeah, she drank a million dollars. Oh, she, really? Yeah, she got she like. Drank a, no, way. She, no, she got a fucking. Her husband was like a Wall Street guy here. And like came but your out aunt was kind of a baddie. Yeah, yeah. She came out big on uh, like Black Monday or something like that. Yeah. He died of cancer. Mm-hmm. And then. He got fucking, she got money, and she just drank champagne until she was fucking yellow. What an awful choice. Oh, so she, like housewife shit. Ugh. Yeah. Well, she Stanford drank champagne wife. till jaundice? Till jaundice. jaundice. Yeah. Crazy. Just fucking. That was fire, right? She was not happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> but that was fire. Is no, jaundice no. the dude that pissed on the couch like Oh, my us? God. Yeah. It's a disease. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That was good. That was good. That was yeah, good. I ruined it. Guys, I ruined it. Uh, just want to say one more time. Thank you so much for watching this new, the new show, the new episode. It's already feeling great, guys. Uh, this is the Doped Up Comedy Podcast. The Doped Up Podcast with the Doped Up Boys. We're your favorite drug buddies. Let's go around the table one more time. Thank you so much for everyone for joining us. Tristan, say goodbye to the people. Thank you for having me. Thank you for everyone listening. Come find me. Come hit me up. Natalie, tell them where to find you one more time. Uh, Natalie, did you go edits on Instagram? Uh, Guest Digital now on YouTube. DC, say your farewells. Um, follow me on Instagram at Amber Heard Did It. Um, Damn, we're even over I, that joke. <laughs> Damn, bro, is that seriously you your bombed idea? In a lo- you bombed <laughs> in a locked room. Damn, bro. No, follow me at um, DC Williams Comedy on Instagram. Well, how you bomb with follow the, when there's reverb? Dying, like, subscribe, comment, share. Send me personal messages. <laughs> oh yeah! I, by the way, by the way, uh, yes. we recorded you got a, Christmas, a PO box. We recorded a Christmas <laughs> episode. Want, yeah. We recorded a Christmas episode. We're gonna release as a, a double this week because I forgot to send it to Natalie. And uh, so, uh, this so y'all are gonna get two episodes at once. So y'all go watch that one. Then y'all come watch this one because that one we explain more about what we're doing. And uh, but if I didn't say during this episode, I said during that episode. Remember. Kevin, uh, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Send Kevin dick pics. We want to know you guys. <laughs> I about that. About we want to know you guys are listening. <laughs> Don't send so, me dick pics. So if you're listening this, all bro. the way to the end, <laughs> guess what you get to do? Take a picture of that fat cock of yours and send it to Kevin Sanchez at wow. Wild Kevin Sanchez. Guys, hey thank guys, you so much. I just want to say, please do it. Happy New Year. Much love. Happy Hope New you're Year, enjoying everyone. the fucking holidays. And uh, y'all been smoking, uh, taking bong rips and smoking joints with us every Sunday. So thank you. We'll see you in 2023, guys. We'll see y'all 2023. Peace. 30 year of doped up. Peace.